guys, welcome back to Pouring from Coast to Coast, where this week's challenge was to create some functional art. I am going to be making some jewelry, so we need to do some bloom skins. And these are the colors that I used. That is Artist Loft Parchment. I actually poured the blooms before I went through the colors. Uh, so I did a video after I did the blooms showing you what colors I'm using. Um, and that is an opaque color, that parchment. So this is in order of how I put them down. The next color is um, the keyword, Quinacridone Nicolazo Gold by Golden. Beautiful color, very popular. This is Poppy Red by Color Art Primary Elements. This was Atelier Copper with Vivid Intense Bordeaux. It gave it a really, really nice color. I love mixing custom colors. Um, it's turned out so, so pretty. Then we have Golden Iridescent Gold Bright Fine, I believe. Fine is at the end of that. This was Deco Art Sapphire and I mixed it with a little bit of Vivid Intense Payne's Gray as well as Fluorescent Blue to kind of change it up just a little bit. It's a beautiful blue. And then my favorite, this is Liquitex Dioxazine Purple. Gotta have purple in everything. And my cell activators were Amsterdam Titanium White and Oxide Black. So since I'm just doing skins, I'm not using a pillow uh, for my blooms. I'm just gonna be using that parchment and I'm not gonna be spinning them or tilting them. Uh, I'm just gonna put the paint down, I'm gonna blow it out with my little mini blower and then I'm gonna let them dry and they will be the perfect little skins for me to cut up.
So these are the skins that we got. And when I'm doing skins, I'm looking for cells. Uh, just because jewelry's small and you wanna make sure that cells are in your jewelry just because they're so pretty. So uh, some of the blooms I got more cells on than others, but these will definitely work for what I'm trying to do. So a couple months back, um, a lady that lived up in the Woodlands, which is about 45 minutes to an hour from where I'm at in Houston, um, she was selling a lot of her materials, paint pouring, she had paint, varnish, uh, stir sticks, she had all kinds of stuff. And she had all this jewelry making stuff. And I was so excited. I had some already, but I, these are all like different shapes and sizes. Um, so that pendant that you saw, that is one inch by two inch. It's a really big size, uh, which I love. So we're gonna be doing a pendant and then matching earrings. Now what I'm doing here is I'm taking the glass and I'm putting it over the area of the bloom that I want to be the pendant. Um, that's gonna be up to you, that's your choice. Move it around on, on different blooms, turn it different ways, figure out the uh, orientation that you want, how it looks the best, and that is pretty much how you pick your composition, per se, for your piece of jewelry. Now, after you have found where you want uh, to place that glass on the bloom, you're gonna take some clear adhesive. I use E6000, put it directly on the glass, and then put the glass directly onto the bloom. Now, what you want enough on there so that it spreads out evenly. Um, it kind of serves as your varnish slash resin. Uh, it really highlights the colors and brings out the shine if you have any pigments in your bloom. Um, but yeah, you wanna just make sure that uh, the glue spreads to all the edges. There's no bubbles, no nothing like that. And then just let them dry. So these are dry enough now that I'm just gonna take a pair of scissors. I'm gonna go around the edges of the glass and cut it out. Now the scissors can't get as close as we need it to, so I just take a razor blade and very gently, uh, anywhere that I see needs to be kind of trimmed, just take that razor blade around the glass and use the glass um, against your razor so that it kind of goes right along the line that you need it. Once you've trimmed it, you're gonna put a little bit of adhesive 
into your tray and then put down the bloom with the glass on it and it becomes a beautiful, beautiful piece of jewelry just like that. So here is the finished set. It turned out really pretty. The colors are beautiful together and it's for sale. So let me know if you're interested in the comments. Making some functional art was such a great challenge. So thanks to Michelle for coming up with that. Make sure you watch all the videos in this collaboration. Chris Jezik, Teneva Baker, and Michelle Galley are all incredibly talented artists. And I know you can learn a lot from them. Their links are gonna be in the description. Speaking of, don't go anywhere unless it's to Chris Jezik's channel because she is coming up next. You guys have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you soon.